Good morning, everyone. So for this morning, we will be talking about chapter 9 of your module, which is about explosive and explosion. So for the definition of the explosive, explosive is a substance that may cause explosion. So any materials at all that is combined with other materials or chemicals that may cause explosion. So, those kind of materials may either decompose or combust. So, for any chemical combustion or compound or mixture that is under the influence of either heat, na initan siya, nagkaroon ng pressure, so tinanggalan mo siya ng pin, kunyari, friction or shock can either um, can either have an explosion or decomposition. So, our explosive have the following classification. So, the first one is the velocity of reaction. Gaano ka bilis yung reaction? So, it's either low, primary and initiating, and high explosive. So, when we say low explosive, medyo mabagal yung kanyang decomposition, wherein... The materials included here are the black and smokeless powder. So, mabagal ito. And then, the explosion here is less than the speed of the sound. So, na example na ito. Ang example na ito are the launching rockets, projectiles from gun and missile systems. Okay? So, another one is... May classification silo explosive as to primer, igniter, and propellant. <clears throat> Pag sinabi natin primer, ito yung nagkakos ng delay. So, example of this are the lead acid and mercury fulminate. So, si igniter naman is igniter in gun propellant and safety blasting fuses. So, dito... Ginagamit ito in mining and low power explosive. So, ang component po ng igniter or black or gunpowder are the following. Pwedeng potassium nitrate plus charcoal plus sulfur. Sodium nitrate plus char charcoal plus sulfur. Sulfur less black powder plus potassium nitrate plus char charcoal. Pyrodex plus potassium nitrate plus potassium perchlorate. And then, potassium oxa oxalate plus charcoal plus sulfur plus iogwanadine. So, this one, you can see from among the examples that meron siyang charcoal as, as its main material that brings or that causes it to have a black appearance okay so ginagamit ito ulit sa firecracker distress rockets na delay fuses signal rockets and blasting fuses okay next is the propellants <clears throat> so ang propellants natin are ginagamit in launching projectiles from gun rocket and missile system so here nilalagyan pa ito ng energetic material such as plasticizers para mabilis yung kanyang processing. Uh, and nilalagyan din siya ng stabilizer to increase its storage life. So, para matagal siyang pwedeng itago and in organic additive to facilitate handling, ignitability, and decrease muscle mesh. So, meaning to say, naglalagay din ng mga non-biodegradable materials to facilitate handling. Madaling gamitin, madaling buksan, and decrease muscle mesh. Okay? So, there are various kinds of propellants that we have. The first one is smokeless powder. So, eto, ang main material neto is nitrocellulose. Kung saan, si nitrocellulose is may component siya ng NC plus NG. So, what is NC? That is nitrocellulose. Tapos, dadagdagan natin siya ng nitroguanidine. So, that is why, pag pinagsama yung dalawa, 
nagkakaroon siya ng smokeless powder appearance. Okay? So, next is pyrolysis. Pag sinabi natin pyrolysis, this is the composition of any material. Tapos, nire-reduce siya into a simpler compound brought about by heat from fire. So, galing ito sa word na pyro and lysis. Okay? So, meaning to say, in pyrolysis, yung isang material ay pwede natin ma-simplify by the addition of heat from the fire. And then, ang flame naman natin, or flame, is a gaseous reaction. Ano yung flame? Yung nagliliyab. So, this is a gaseous reaction kung saan umaakit yung hot gases due to convection. When we say convection, this is the movement of heat from a higher pressure to low pressure area. <coughs> so, ang oxygen dito is in important and then kailangan siya ng kailangan masustain yung flame ng isang solid material or liquid. So, halimbawa ng solid material natin is dry leaves, <coughs> ano pa, fuels, charcoals nga yan, while liquid or aerosol in a closed room. So, for this, kapag 0 to 5% po yung flame, it can reach up to 1,000 degree or a very flaming hot na fire. So, remember also that the presence of nitrogen can bring or can improve the combustion reaction. So, if there is a nitrogen component na nadagdag, mas mabilis siyang masusunog. Okay? So, let us also have the concept about the use of the use of color temperature. So, when we say color temperature, there are five, uh, there are six. So, pag dark red siya, so during the investigation, you will ask or you will observe the color temperature. The first one is dark red. Pag nakita mo that dark red yung temperature, so probably that is around 500 to 600 degrees Celsius. Pag dull red is 600 to 800 degrees Celsius. Bright cherry red is 800 to 1000 degrees centigrade. Orange or orange is 1,000 to 1,200 degrees Celsius. Bright yellow and white. So, white is the hottest. Kasi white is 1,400 to 1,600 degrees centigrade. So, in your <coughs> preliminary documentation, as you observe the color of the flame of the fire, you can say that you can predict that the temperature of that of the fire <clears throat> that is being occurring is on that level okay so <clears throat> let us recall that in a fire triangle or in order for a fire to be to be i know to be developed you need to have fuel heat or ignition and an oxidant Remember, ignition is needed to start a heat. Okay? For an explosive triangle, kung kailangan magkaroon ng explosion, kailangan siya ng fuel, ignition, and oxidant. Okay, let us continue. So, for the color of smoke and odor being evolved, pag nakita niyo yung color ng smoke or ng usok, so, pag white, Humid material, meaning is medyo basa yung material. White yung smoke. Pag light gray, that is probably a hay. Or dayami and a vegetable matter. Pag nakita nyo yung usok, that is black. So, kulang siya ng air. And the black smoke is due to petroleum-based material. So, kapag nakakita kayo ng sinusunog na asfalto, Ang usok nun is kulay item. Ano pa? Yung ex host or yung usok galing sa automobile or sa sasakyan that is color black. That is due to the burning of petroleum based material. So we have reddish brown, thick yellow or brownish yellow color of the smoke. That is because of nitrocellulose fire. 
sulfur and sulfuric material. And then for biting smoke, pag medyo masangsang yung amoy, may presensya ng sulfur. Pag rotten cabbage like odor, meron siyang carbon disulfide. Tapos pag medyo amoy bawang, or sibuyas rather, so, tama ba? Garlic. It indicates the presence of phosphorus. So, how we will be applying those concepts in the fire investigation? The first one is we have to understand the source why the fire was ignited. So, hanapin natin yung source bakit nagkaroon ng fire. And then, application of the increasing rate of chemical reaction. Bakit mabilis na tupok yung material? So, you will include that in your observation and investigation. And then, transfer of heat. Why is it that the fire coming from one source easily traveled to another source? Okay? So, another concept in the application of heat to fire investigation is we have to recall the three transfer of heats. So, the first heat, the first one is conduction. Pag sinabi natin conduction, nagkatakit lang yung dalawang object, yung surface ng dalawang object, that is why nag-move yung heat particles from one surface to another surface. So, example is naglagay tayo ng kutsara sa kape, so probably the kutsara will have or will be transferred with the molecules from the liquid in of the liquid components of the coffee. And then convection naman, nagsa-circulate yung init. So, example is yung singaw ng isang ano is can be transferred or the, the heat particle of the fire can be transferred to other places as well. And then radiation naman is wherein yung fire spreads and promote ignition of fuels. So, ang radiation is nainitan lang siya. Walang touching, walang heat particles, pero nainitan lang yung object. And nag-produce siya ng ignition. Okay? We have two types of heat reaction when we say exothermic. This is coming outside, uh, inside the system. So, mula sa loob ng object yung heat, that is why nag-react siya. So, anong halimbawa nito? Nabilad yung isang object. So, nainitan yung, yung loob, nag-explode siya. So, example niyan is the LPG tank natin. Na-expose nga siya sa extreme heat. So, nagsabog. Well, for endothermic reaction, yung heat outside of the system or heat outside of the object is being absorbed by the object. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin ignition, these are the ones that introduces burning to the fuel. It's either because of convection, conduction, or radiation. Sa example ng ignition natin is spark or arc. Yung mga spark ng apoy, primary igniter, lighter, hot object, or surface of the hot object, friction, and primary igniter. When we say match, so example ng match natin is posporo. This is the most common device for kindling a flame or kindling a flame. So, kapag nagkaroon ng friction, yung head of the match that contains fuel and oxidizers created a fire or can create ignition that will, re uh, resulted to, that will result to a fire. So, mayroon dalawang uri ang match. The first one is strike anywhere. This is our common kitchen match. While number two is safety match. This is a match that is ignite only in abrasive or rough material. So, ang fuel nato is sulfur. Next is lighter. Lighter is very common kasi we have this at home. So, lighter can explode when exposed to a high temperature. So, sasabog siya kapag mataas ang temperature. Example is, or pwede namang low atmospheric pressure. Example niyan is inside the airplane. Okay? The first type of lighter is electrical or element type. So, kailangan lang nito ng battery. Pag liquid fuel lighter naman, kailangan nyo ng butane. This is available at home, itong liquid fuel lighter. 
Ang spark produces electrical current discharging through the air or insulator, while a hot object or surface is a lighter wherein yung hot object may be converted to a fuel vapor that will start a fire. So, pag nag mainit yung isang object, it can start a fire. Okay? <clears throat> so, example ng hot object surface are the ones na nagsistart ng grass fire or forest fire. So, nainitan siya, natutuyo yung leaves ng mga non, and then eventually it will resulted to a fire. Next is a friction. Friction is anything. When we say friction, this is um, an interaction between two moving objects that generates a heat. So, example ng friction natin is when you, when you have a movement between the two surfaces, gaya ng kamay nyo, diba? you are moving back and forth your hands to generate a heat. So, when does friction creates a fire? When there are exam uh, examples wherein the fire or the surface of one object extremely become hot. So, example of that is yung brake shoes of automobiles. Na wala nang, na nang, ano yung gulong, nang goma yung gulong and na-expose yung metal part niya and that one causes friction. Okay, other sources of ignition natin is radiant heat. Ito yung pwede mag-start ng fire. Radiant heat, chemical reaction, fireplace and chimney, trash burner and bon bonfire, hot molten ma metals, mechanical sparks, and firearm. Okay. <coughs> Smoking. So, nagtapon ka ng opos ng sigarilyo. <coughs> Excuse me. Without further thinking na sarado na siya or patay na yung upos. Another one is lightning or kidlat. Spontaneous combustion. Ano, mainitan masyado yung material kagaya ng nagtamba ka ng tuyong dahon and spontaneously nasunog siya. Without any reason at all. And then ignition of electrical linings. Ito yung mga sa sa mga wirings natin na nagdidikit yung mga linya. Okay? For the laboratory identification, <clears throat> in conducting this kind of, of investigation, we have to understand and recognize first the one, which is the origin of fire. So, hanapin mo kung saan siya originated yung fire. So, this one can be recovered using either partially burned and unburned fuel. So, kadalasan po, natetrap siya sa isang lugar na walang masyadong hangin. Okay? So, in collecting physical evidence, hanapin mo yung debris. So, hanapin yung source of strong odor. <clears throat> and then, collect as many as possible the evidences. And then, ilalagay natin siya in a container that is that is what? Sabi dito, preservation, you will preserve the evidences from container used or unused metal paint can or glass with a screw cup. Doon mo siya ilalagay. So that the, the chemicals inside or the chemical component will not loosen up or will not be released. Okay, we have also the laboratory examination. Meron na tong kit na available for arson investigation. So, gagamitan mo lang siya ng sundan block or the color test kung saan. We are allowing the material to evaporate and titingnan natin if there is an appearance of any accelerant. Pag nagbilis yung pagbabago ng color niya. Okay, so usually ang color nitong sundan block is... <coughs> color black, and then titingnan natin kung gaano kabilis siya maging color pink. Okay, for the confirmatory examination, we have gas chromatography with headspace. So, ginagamit ito if we are if we are trying to know if the kerosene, gasoline, 
starts the fire. Okay. <clears throat> so, for the last slide, how to minimize the fire. So, we have to be very uh, specific in this. So, during your investigation, you can determine the reason why the fire happened because of this factor. The first one is the building design. Tapag maayos yung building design, less yung probability of catching a fire. And safety practices of that building na yeah. So, if the fire safety practices are institutionalized or instituted or or are well in place, so probably fire will not happen. And if the fire safety practices are not in place, so definitely that may start a fire. So that would be all. Thank you so much. And please coordinate with your teacher about the activity.